after congruence testing, the next thing that we would like to do is to find out how to identify similar triangles. For this, basically, there are only two rules. It's relatively easy. It's the AA rule and the SSS rule. When we say that something is similar, it means that the shape needs to be exactly the same. But what can be different is the size. So for example, if you were to photocopy a book, you put something into the photocopying machine and then you zoom in or you zoom out, the shape is exactly the same. But the size may be different. So how do we identify if the two shapes are similar? Now the AA rule means that as long as two of the angles are the same in a triangle, for example, this angle and this angle are the same, and another angle are the same. As long as you can identify two angles that is the same, then the triangle is similar. Why is it not three sides? Because there are only three sides. If two angles are the same, that means that the third angle will be the same. So saying AA is the same as saying AAA because the third is the third angle is constrained by 180 degrees minus the other two angles. So if you have a question or you come across a triangle, three sides obviously, and two of the sides have the same angle, like um, any triangle, the third one will be the same, and therefore the two triangles A and B will be the same. Now the other rule is the SSS rule. Um, this doesn't mean that the three sides need to be the same, because obviously if the three sides is exactly the same length, then it is congruent, it's the exact same triangle. We are talking about similar triangles, and if you remember, the sides can be different. So the S here stands for the ratio of the sides. So the ratio of the, the, the sides need to be the same. So for example, you know, if we call this side A, B, and C, now the ratio of side A, B, and C, if it is equal to the sides D, E, and F, or the ratio D, E and F, then the triangles are similar. Now this is self-explanatory because SSS will also mean AA. It's the same. In fact, this SSS, the ratio of the sides is the same. It's the exact definition of, of a shape that is zoomed in or zoomed out, like the photocopier. So this is the definition of similar. Uh, let's look at an example. Now you have two triangles. Um, Triangle A, and this is 2CM, this side is 3CM, this side is 4CM. Okay, is, it, is this triangle similar to another triangle? Of course, the triangle is not drawn to scale, but this side is 4CM, this side is 6CM, and this side is 8CM. So if we were to use our SSS rule, um, obviously because we don't have the angles, we only have the sides. Okay, let's call, let's name the sides. So this is side D. E, F, and for the blue triangle, it's sides P, Q, and R. All right. You know, you can reduce this triangle, D, E, F, to be of this ratio. 2 is to 3 is to 4. So this is triangle D, E, F. And for the other triangle, um, for triangle P, Q, and R, you can rewrite it as 4, 6, and 8. And this can be reduced to 2, 3, and 4. So therefore, they are similar. So similar triangles. Now, um, if you want to present it a little nicer, you can always present it like this. For example, the side DE over the side PQ is the same as the side EF over the side QR, and this is also the same as the length of the side DF over PR. So if we were to put in the values 2 over 4 and EF over QR is 3 over 6 and df over, df over pr is correspondingly 4 over 8. So 
yes, it is all half. So the ratio of all the sides is half, which simply means that the, the green triangle is twice as large as the purple one. You can see that the green triangle is twice the size of this. So every single side of the purple triangle is half of the green one. So therefore, these two triangles are similar. It is that simple.